Welcome back, everybody. Today I'm using a heart shaped stone that I've used, um, made using a mold from Happy Dotting Company. I'm going to be using a couple things from Happy Dotting Company on Etsy today. I'm painting my heart black, uh, two coats of black, and then I'm using one of these. It's a, a really cool, flimsy, floppy uh, silicone guide. And this helps you create all sorts of things. I'm actually trying to center it on the heart stone. You can do this on a shape of a heart. You could do this on a round stone if you would rather. Um, but basically I used this guide, this stencil, um, to create uh, a template for me to work off of. Um, I'm also going to use a compass. I'm going to keep that center dot there and I'm just going to like fill in my circle so that I can see it. Um, and then I'm going to just erase all of this pencil. It, whatever's still showing after I've done painting, uh, I'm going to erase. So I've just made three circles and I'm, I'm drawing a line across and up and down just so I know where my center is and that's just my guide. Um, you can slow this down if you need to or pause it so that you can uh, do the same thing. You can use a ruler, just find the center. Just use a ruler and find the, the approximate center of the heart. Um, now don't forget, use my discount code on Etsy at Happy Dotting Company. Uh, it's Rachel's Rocks Canada, all one word. Uh, use my discount code there to get 10% off your order if you order more than $10. Uh, and they have plenty of things there for you to not only make your own stones, but create some magical artwork on top of them. Um, so definitely check them out. Everything you need to know is going to be in the description of this video, so make sure you check out the description. Um, all sorts of hidden gems in there. I've started off with red. I'm also going to be finishing with red, believe it or not. Um, but we're going to do like a rainbow, a rainbow effect. Uh, I'm in the mood for color and I really need some color in my life after the long dreary winter we've had. <laughs> um, we still have lots of snow that needs to melt, but we have had some above zero weather and uh, yeah. That just puts me in a good old mood. It's spring, <laughs> growth, new growth, new beginnings, warm weather, grass, birds, <laughs> all the things I miss over the winter. Um, so I have red, I have magenta, now I have like a light pink, and basically I'm doing bigger dots and then walking little dots around it. Um, it looks like it's going orange, but it's just my lighting. It's just the way it's shining on the red, um, but it's really just red. Um, now I'm doing like a lavender. So I'm kind of going from red to pink to purple. Um, you will see a list of all the colors in the description, um, but you can also see it right here. Red, it's hard under that light though. I do understand. I'm basically just going up in a rainbow of colors. You can do what you want with your dots. Um, I'm kind of being random with it. You can slow the video down, like I said, or even pause it and take a look at what I've done if, uh, if I'm not explaining it well enough. Um, but I'm just kind of keeping the same colors in layers. So I, I move on to one color and I keep a layer of that. So I've done uh, a whole layer of that lavender color. Now I'm going to go in with some violet pansy. So now this layer is going to be all purple. And the first layer was all red and the second layer was all magenta. Um, and if you make mistakes, you can wipe it off with your finger just like I did and uh, fix the black paint if it's smudged all over the place. Um, when there's a lot of dots though, like what I'm going to be doing today, you're not really going to notice any giant mistakes. It's, it's going to be hard to notice. Um, so I'm doing even bigger uh, purple dots, just the same color, still working on that layer. Uh, just think of it as layers of color and, and move up move up in the layers of color the way you want to. You don't have to choose the same colors I'm using today. Um, 
literally, I just love color so much. And if you look on my Instagram um, at Rachel's Rocks 11, you can see a lot of times I put the hashtag, I love color. Uh, and I really do. So how appropriate is it to do color in a heart? Heart stands for love. So we're about to make hashtag I love color right now. This is what this is going to be called. <laughs> so I've gone from that, that nice dark purple to now a blue. Uh, you choose the blue of your liking. And I'm just kind of squeezing it in areas. I don't want to see too much black. Um, so I'm I'm squeezing it in different areas. I've added blue. I'll be adding more blue, but I decided to walk purple around my dots instead of continue with blue for now. But I did squeeze in some blue. We'll be adding more. Walking the dots is literally just walking around the larger dot with littler dots using different sized dotting tools. Um, you can use the ends of your paintbrushes, the part that doesn't have bristles. You can use those as dotting tools. You have all sorts of different sizes uh, if you've been painting for any length of time. Also, you can use knitting needles. You can use crochet hooks. You can use uh, toothpicks, um, pretty much anything that you can find, bobby pins, uh, with the little wax ends on them or the little plastic ends. They can make some pretty cool dots if you're down and out and don't have anything to dot with. Um, you don't have to go out and buy stuff to dot. You can practice with the stuff that you have at home. I started with toothpicks and paint brushes and dollar store paint on extremely rough rocks. So, uh, I've come a long way and I know you can too. <laughs> so I'm walking the blue dots twice around these blues, uh, the larger blue dots. You can see that I've done two layers of walking. Now I start in the center and then walk up either side. You do it however you're comfortable. Um, this is just what I've gotten used to doing. And I find that when you walk upwards, the dots are getting smaller because you're using up your paint. Um, so it kind of gives it a nice effect where the dots go from large to small. And uh, you don't even have to do anything special. It just happens. <laughs> but it's best to start in the center. Now I'm going to add some teal over top of my true blue. Um, so now we've done purple. We've done blue. We have all these little sections or layers of color. And eventually we're going to end up back with red. Uh, and you'll see how that goes. But if you want to do this in just shades of purple or just shades of blue, or you can do the chakra colors or rainbow colors or pride colors, um, it's totally up to you. You can do it in a, a starburst like Maybe start with like bright white, go to yellow, orange, and then out to red, and then make it like a sunburst or something. Um, but you can do whatever you want. You can change up the way you do your dots. I, I just want to do a layer. So I'm just kind of filling in the space uh, with color. And then I'll erase all my pencil afterwards. You can't really even see a lot of the pencil. Um, but I'm going to get rid of that. Don't you worry. <laughs> so my dots are getting a little bit bigger. These teal dots are slightly bigger than the, the darker blue. Um, and I'm walking around with bigger dots again. Um, it's just going to look so pretty when it's done and I'm super excited. I'm sure you see the thumbnail. That's what I hate. I wish I could surprise you, um, with how it's going to look at the end. Um, but the thumbnail gives it away. <laughs> but you wouldn't click on it and watch it if you didn't see that thumbnail. <laughs> so it's a catch-22, guys. Share with your friends and make sure you're still subscribed. Um, yeah, and hit the like button if you want to. Or, or not like. That's okay. Either way, I want my stuff to be seen so that people can do what I'm doing and make gifts for people and realize they have an artist inside of them. Uh, and it's a lot of fun 
not to mention the whole therapeutic aspect of it. <laughs> so share and like and get my videos out there. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers um, so that my kids believe me that I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> So I've added a layer of bright green, which I obviously edited out of here because or else you would have seen me doing that. Um, but I'm pretty much doing the same thing. I'm just doing a layer of color. I walked around the blue dots with green dots and I added bigger green dots. And now I'm using a lime green and I'm just kind of swinging with dots from one uh, larger green dot to the next, swinging across like a monkey. <laughs> Um, by the time this is done, it's going to be like the most intricate, uh, rainbow colored doily I've ever seen. <laughs> is that right? Is that a doily? What are those things called? I used to see them on my grandma's nightstand. Um, doilies. Yeah. It's going to be a very colorful dotted doily. Um, so once again, just filling in that space, I'm putting lime green dots, uh, inside those areas there just three of them and it's just honestly filling in the space so that we have that layer uh, distinctive layer of each color and you can do whatever you want with those layers that's what I love about all of this you do what you want to make you happy and the colors that make you happy um, and it's going to look fantastic when you're done if you saw my owl tutorial, let me know. I want to know what you thought of it. I also want to know if you're going to try this out. Are you going to paint a heart shape onto a rock and do it? Or are you going to paint it on a canvas? Are you going to do it on a heart shaped stone that you've created uh, using the molds from Happy Dotting Company? I don't know what I would do without Happy Dotting Company when I have like a 14 month winter here in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. <laughs> Uh, it's been a blessing. So thank you so, so much at Happy Dotting Company. Uh, all the links to everything you're going to need to create this will be listed in the description, including the exact paint colors that I'm using, but you don't have to choose all of that. You don't have to do what I'm doing or with what I'm doing it with. You, you do it your way. Um, but my suggestions and my ideas and all that is available to you for free. And, uh, also my resin tutorial, if you want to make your stone shine the way mine do, it's my favorite part, honestly. And I've been doing this for years now, <laughs> still my favorite part. I absolutely love it. So I went to lime green, then yellow. Now I'm going to some pure pumpkin, uh, orange. This one's from the dollar store too. I trust it. It's been something I've used for years. Certain paint colors. I will not, I will not change the brand, <laughs> even if it is from the dollar store. So I'm doing some bigger orange dots here. You can definitely see them. I don't want them to be lost down the sides of the heart. So I'm making them a little bit more noticeable. They're just a little more big and bold and they're just like, hello, I'm over here. Your eye wants to travel right over there to that orange. And finally, the last color, same color we started with, apple red. And I'm just going to do a layer of red. Do what you want here. Um, whatever makes you happy. And uh, I'm just going to dot away. I can't wait to show it to you resin, um, but I'm going to be adding a little something to it once all of this dotting is dry. Um, so you can see I'm doing over top of these orange dots. They're kind of um, in the shape of like an arrow. So I'm doing like a double layer of, of dots going to each bigger dot. I don't know how to explain it, but I hope that you can see what I'm doing well enough to understand uh, what this what what this is that I'm doing. What is the method to my madness? 
Hopefully you can see that. So the first set of dots goes straight up like in a V and the second row is kind of rounded. But I stay with that first big dot. That's my center spot. There you go. <laughs> so the red's on there. It's noticeable. It's finished off the outer edge. Um, I've made sure that all my paint is super duper dry. Guys, don't attempt this until you know it's been sitting for a few hours. Because um, or else you're going to be really upset with yourself. And you're going to have a lot of mistakes to fix. Um, so I'm getting rid of all the pencil that I can see. I like using these white soft erasers. Um, they seem to work really well with my pencils. I'm not using any special pencils or anything. And I stole this eraser from my son's math set. So it's just a cheap white eraser, but I find it seems to work well. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. I don't see any more pencil. So I'm going to use the mini master set from Yuli, uh, watercolors on Etsy. You can also use the watercolor paints that I've been putting in my shop, which, I have a whole bunch that I'm going to be putting in soon. Um, but basically, I'm going to cover over top of all of this beautiful stuff that we've just done using just a little bit of water. I'm going to kind of coordinate my metallic watercolors to the same layers. So I started off with some red metallic and I just poured it over top of those red dots. Then I got some pink and I put it around those pink dots. Then I got some purple and I'm going to add blue and I'm going to find some green and I'm just going to cover right over top. So that metallic is going to like wither down over top of those dots and land and settle in the black paint behind them. Um, so this is going to make something magical happen and we're going to be able to see it a lot better once it's sealed with resin. But like I said, this is going to be hashtag I love color. <laughs> this is going to be the definition of color <laughs> and loving color um, when you see it at the end. So this is optional. You don't have to do this. If you're like, whoa, 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 you're ruining it right now, Rachel, stop. If it's too much and I've gone too far, you definitely don't have to do this part. You can stick with the dots the way they were or the way you made them, and you can leave out the watercolor completely. Um, but I just really wanted to add a little bit more to it um, because you know how I am. I'm extra. <laughs> and so now, to be even more extra, I'm going to take a small dotting tool and I'm just going to add a little dot of gold in the center of the most prominent dots. So the bigger dots are getting a little gold dot on top after the watercolor and then it gets a resin bath. So definitely don't dot the whole thing with gold, just the most prominent dots that you can notice just put a little dot in the center like a little gold stud and uh yeah I just do that to fancy it up even more even though it's already pretty fancy um once again I don't like to leave out my gold it's one of my favorite paints <laughs> and it looks really pretty I promise you here we go hold on to your hats this has been resined it sat in its resin bath. It is so pretty, you guys. It almost gives me goosebumps to look at it. It shifts. The colors behind the watercolor, the glitter, it shifts when you turn it. Um, but look at all that color. It is absolutely magnificent. I really kind of hype up my rocks at the ends of my videos, but it's because they look really pretty and I'm really proud of myself when I'm done and you should be too. So it's okay to be like, oh, this is gorgeous. It's okay because it really is gorgeous. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope that you're able to recreate this with me in some way. I hope you have fun with it. Of course, that's the most important thing. And I want to hear all about it. So make sure you let me know in the comments what you're going to do, how it turned out. And if you have any questions, please ask. I will try and get back to you as soon as possible. And if not, someone else might help you as well. 
So good luck to you all. Until we meet again, I will see you very, very soon. I love you guys. Bye.